Hello there, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sangeeta. Do you all like to go for outing with your friends? I'm sure you do. You know what, I was planning to organize a picnic for all my friends. But the problem is I can manage to call only 10 of them. How do I decide whom to call? Can you suggest something? What if I do a lottery? So here's a bowl which contain name of all my friends written on sheets of paper. Now I'll close my eyes and select 10 chits. Hey, I just realized I have selected a sample of 10 friends from the sampling frame of 40 friends and use random sampling method. In random sampling, every individual unit has an equal chance of being selected. In other words, random sampling is unbiased in nature. This is why it is also called lottery method. Is there any other way of selection? What if I had to decide whom to invite and whom to leave out? I might invite those friends who are more friendly with me and are also staying close to my house. In this case, I'm using some judgment or some kind of bias in selecting 10 friends. This way of selecting is not random selection. In non-random sampling method, all units do not have an equal chance of being selected and the sample is selected based on some specific criteria or convenience rather than true random selection. In other words, non-random sampling is biased in nature. Before we go on to list down the key differences between random and non-random sampling method, let us do something very interesting. We will use the acronym RANDOM to learn more about random sampling method. This method involves random selection of sample from the population. So all observations has an equal chance of being selected. This method requires information about total number of observation in the population or population size. Next, by drawing our observation from the population, a representative sample is selected. The method is similar to a lottery. So observations must be selected by random draws. Major advantages of this method include its simplicity and lack of bias. Key differences between random and non-random sampling. In random sampling technique, each sample has an equal chance or probability of getting selected. Whereas in non-random sampling, the sample selected will be based on factors such as convenience, judgment or experience of the researcher and not on probability. Random sampling is unbiased in nature. On the other hand, non-random sampling is biased in nature. Random sampling is representative of the entire population. Non-random sampling lacks the representation of the entire population. In case of random sampling, findings can be generalized to the larger population, whereas findings may not be generalized to the larger population when we are using non-random sampling method. Random sampling is the most simple sampling technique, but the technique of non-random sampling is somewhat complex. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so that you can keep up to date with all the fresh content. If you find the video useful, give it a thumbs up so that I know you want more of this kind of videos. This gesture of support helps a lot and makes it easier for others to find the content when they need it. I'll be back with more tutorial especially created for you to help you learn easily and remember effectively. Until we meet again, take care and bye-bye.